Now, how did you end up doing the show? Right, because that's like so. That's an interesting story. So, um, 2011, right, is when you guys started doing the show. That's when I started. So it was a little bit before that. So yeah. in 2009 is when uh, my manager Courtney Mullen, um, she unfortunately had lost her dad a couple of years before that, and she had come for a reading, and she had said that it had helped her so much that everyone should have the opportunity to experience that after lo- the loss of a loved one. And she had worked for TRL at the time, mm-hmm. and TRL had ended, and she had asked me, uh, do you want to do a TV show? So I'm like, oh, all right, I don't know, I'll film a couple of episodes, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you know, I'll go yeah. on with my life, right. and, you know. And uh, I never thought in a million years that I'd be on television for 10, 10 years, years and then be yeah. traveling on a tour bus all over the country yeah, doing yeah. live shows um and that's really that's how it came about and i will never forget the first day of filming uh the producer uh jonathan's like all right the rule book's out the window just the rule is you show up at <laughs> Teresa's house there's always a camera rolling and that's, that's it. it just yeah. go with yeah. it like there's <laughs> nothing else. and even people that are on the show they're like yeah, I'm, I'll be like, no one asked you. They're like, no one even asked me. They didn't even like check to make sure it was me. Like they yeah. just trusted. That. And I'm like, well, that's the way that it is. I remember yeah. somebody from um, I went to school with. I won't say the name, but a uh, police officer mm-hmm. tragically passed away and was on your show. The the oh. wife was on your show. And it was like the biggest deal ever. We were like, wow, she's going on the Long Island media. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone tuned in. But it was just amazing to yeah. watch. Yeah, it, it really it's something that. And especially after the pandemic, I say we've all, someone might not have lost someone, Mm -hmm. but we've all lost something. Yeah, definitely. Over these past months, right? Yeah. And that's something else that spirit offers is peace and faith. Yeah. And now you're doing a podcast, Hey Spirit. Correct. What is happening on this podcast? Are you doing readings? Are you talking like this? Or are you just doing readings virtually? I do readings virtually. How does that work virtually? Virtually. Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of people who do them over the phone yeah, or yeah. even just messaging. How do you get in tune with the person just over technology? Because just listening to that, yeah. I feel like is great. Like, right. Of course, you know, we've, we're so used to watching mm-hmm. your show. So it's right. kind of different when you're just, you can't physically see the person, even just for the listener. But that's the thing that I actually love about the podcast, podcast. is because mm-hmm. you're listening to these messages and sometimes someone can't respond so right. especially if you're like watching the show like you might just be watching their emotion but to like hear it yeah. and then i think people are able to place themselves in their own situations for wherever they need to be in their healing process and mm-hmm. i think that's why it's helping so many people you know, and that, that was one of the silver linings for the pandemic was I was like, okay, how can I continue to help people? How can I continue to give people the, the, the encouragement and faith and not to give up and the comfort? And it's great because not only get, do I get to read people in the tri-state area, but people all over the world. We have people from uh, Australia on the yeah. podcast, Hong Kong. It really just is, is incredible. And it happens just like how it happens in person. I say the only thing is that I can't hug them because I'm right, such right, a, yeah. like, I can't reach over <laughs> Like yeah, grab yeah, their yeah, hand yeah, and yeah, like yeah. hug them, and that's the on- that that's the only difference. How um how do people get on the podcast? Like d- just I, submit- we have a hotline. It's one eight six six T Caputo, and you call and leave a message, and someone might just call you back. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of people are going to call in I know, <laughs> I know. this podcast. I know. I would. I, would I think might. So. <laughs> and you know, you've gotten to do when you were on the, when the show was on Discovery Plus at the beginning of this year. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of celebrities. Yeah. that you got to work with. How was that? Just like any, any other client. Any, any, I was going to say, any pressure for a celebrity reading? Yeah. <laughs> it's no, n- no, not at all. I mean, honestly, they're they're just like everyone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. The only difference is uh, that I find that they're more guarded. Yeah. Because of my life right, is in right, the public eye. Right, right. They might be afraid of what the, you say, yeah, right. right? Like, But you know what? I use my gift for healing. Yeah. It's not, you know, there are some mediums and psychics out there that use their gift for, you know, what they work with the police. They, yeah. mm-hmm. they they do ghost hunting and things like that. Listen, I still live next door to my parents. Yeah. I'm 54 <laughs> and I sleep with a nightlight on. So <laughs> I'm not afraid. Go, you're not ghost hunting. How, oh, do you, no, no. how do you sleep at night? Um, I, like, I, the genuine I, question, like, how, there's a lot going on up it, there. It's hard. Including the hair. Yeah, yeah it is. A lot. I woke up like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I don't really sleep that great, mm-hmm. so um, I usually just sleep for a couple hours. I'm usually waking up, um, but yeah, I've I've always just I don't know any different. I've always been like this. 
So, Even yeah. like, do you look back to when you were younger? I know you said you would say that you felt different, but you look mm-hmm. even like your really early years. Like, do you just look back and think that's what was going on with me? Absolutely. Definitely. Like I could never be in like close spaces mm-hmm. or being around a lot of people because I would pick up the way that someone died. So I could be like losing my breath if someone died of the chest or a heart attack, like I'll lose my breath. Yeah. You know, if someone did take their own life by a hanging, I will feel mm-hmm. like uh, like something is pressing and choking me. Yeah. So it's very, yeah. Insane, mm-hmm. that's really crazy. I wish, I, I, I nobody wants this, but I wish I could sit here and ask you all the ways you feel the way somebody passes, oh, right? Because I, mean, I, no, I'm not I, gonna do I, that. I, but I was like, I don't wanna it, know that. No, I know, but it's just <laughs> crazy no, it's that you would you know, like feel some, it. Like yeah. somebody who has cancer. Yeah. Like how would like how would that come to you? Well, they'll show me. Uh, well, it depends. Like where it, it depends yeah. on the type of cancer. They'll show me the the first thing that they do if they want to show me that the cancer if it was all over they'll have they'll stand in front they'll just show me a silhouette and I will see red spots from head to toe. That means mm-hmm. that that they were riddled with cancer. Uh, the red spots is the cancer. Then sometimes they'll just show me here. They'll show me like in the stomach, in the chest, and then they'll show me to the head. I will actually feel if someone had like an aneurysm mm. and if it traveled or like a blood clot and it went from the lung to the brain, that I will literally feel the pressure here. I will feel a sensation and then a sharp pain in my head. How do you know something's not wrong with you then if you're feeling these things? Because right? I go to the doctor yeah, every yeah. five minutes. <laughs> I'm thinking in my head, I'll get heart palpitations all of a sudden. I think I'm having a heart attack. You feel these things constantly just from other people. Right. How would you know the difference? Well, that's the thing. That's why I suffered. You know, you were talking about anxiety yeah. and depression before. Mm-hmm. For years, I suffered with anxiety because I would be in a store and all of a sudden, I would literally right. feel like I'm having a heart attack. I would leave the store and then I'd be like, oh, be I feel fine. better. Yeah. But because I left right. the energy behind. Mm-hmm. So, and that happened once, like when I was learning to understand my gift that that actually did happen and I had to force myself to stay in situations I'll never forget it I was in in a bed bath and beyond and I was in the sheet aisle and I felt my heart and I'm like oh I'm, I'm having a heart attack and all of a sudden this older woman comes up to me and she and I hear in my head the ones on the left mm. I have no idea what that is and I'm like oh and this woman comes up to me and she says can I ask you your opinion which sheets do you like so, of course, I picked yeah, the ones on the left. left. And she said, oh, she says, those are the ones my husband would have liked. I just lost yeah. my husband and he died of a heart attack suddenly. And I need to change things, but I still wanted to incorporate him in the room. She says, thank you, I'm going to buy these. And But that's how I learned. So that yeah. then became my symbol of heart, lungs, yeah. or chest. Yeah, right. I will actually feel sometimes like I'm drowning. Yeah, Someone could have be. it could be someone actually drowned. You would not believe how many people drown. Yeah, um, I'll I'll be doing a live show and I'll I'll literally feel like a barrel of a gun to my head and I'll say who was shot and you'll see hundreds Jeez. of yes. people yeah. raising their yeah. it's crazy it's, it's crazy and I'm thinking no one's gonna die like that and yeah. there's like thirty people fighting over the message. <laughs> 